Hey friends, my name is Carly Pearl, and today's practice, we celebrate full-on unabashed love for ourselves. So class today will be heart-centered. We will open the entirety of the chest, so not just the front of the heart, but the side and the back of the heart as well, as well as strengthening and opening the shoulders. And we will also be uh, supporting the spine and doing poses that strengthen the musculature around the spine so that we can provide strength and support for ourselves. So it will be this theme of having a strong back and a soft front. Please meet me lying down on your back. And as you do, allow the feet to open just as wide as your yoga mat and the inner knees will knock together. So then you're not using any effort or musculature to keep the knees lifted. And then rest your left hand on your heart, your right hand to your belly. Allow your eyelids to softly close. And begin to stretch and deepen your breath, feeling the rise and fall of the chest and belly elevating the hands with each breath you take. The fourth chakra, Anahata, is located at the center of your chest, at the heart level. So if you'd like, you might visualize a green ball of spinning energy right at the center of your chest. Anahata in Sanskrit means unstruck or unhurt. And this is a sweet reminder that no matter the pain, heartbreak, and sorrow we've experienced, we still have an infinite capacity to love and love again unconditionally. So just take a moment to recognize the duality of this energy center. Our hearts hold all the love, joy, blissfulness, connection to all that is, and our hearts are deep enough to hold the pain, grief, and uncertainty we sometimes experience. Anahata is a bridge between the lower and upper chakras and is said to integrate earthly and spiritual aspirations. So may you allow your heart center and the powerful force of love to guide you in your practice today. First and foremost, honoring your needs and limits. Please take a really slow, deep breath in, expanding the belly and uplifting the heart. And then softly open the mouth and audibly exhale the air out. Then seal the lips and begin to cultivate your ujjayi pranayama, creating a little constriction through the back of the throat, noticing the texture of the breath. Softly open your eyes and open your arms out wide into a goal pose, so the elbows bend 90 degrees and the palms turn up towards the sky. Lift the knees up and hover them right over the hips, Shin bones will draw parallel to the earth, so you're in a supine tabletop position. Take an inhale as you elongate the spinal column, pressing it down in towards your mat. And on the exhale, gently hover the knees to the right, just getting a little twist in the spine. Core stays strong. Press the left tricep down towards the earth. Inhale, stack the knees back up over the hips. Exhale, hover the knees to the left, draw the low belly in towards the spine, and root down through the right outer arm. Inhale, knees back up over the hips. Exhale, hover the knees to the right. 
Inhale, center, knees over hips. Exhale, hover the knees to the left. And let's do that one more round. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees to the right. Keep spreading across the top of the chest. Collarbones are broad. Inhale, knees over hips. Exhale, knees to the left. Inhale, come back, come back up through center and hug both knees in towards the heart, using the hands to draw the shins in a little bit closer. You're welcome to rock the knees a little side to side, massaging the low back. Then still the knees, bring the hands to the backs of the thighs and begin to rock back and forward the full length of your spine. Take two to three rocks, and once you have enough momentum to sit up, stay upright, plant the feet in front of you, hips width distance, and lower the palms behind you so the wrists stack right under the shoulders. Spread the fingers wide, root down through the palms and the feet, and lift the pelvis up in line with the knees and the shoulders. Gently allow the head to drop back behind you, opening up the throat. As you root into the heels of the hands, slide the shoulder blades back towards the backs of the knees and the collarbones stretch to the wall behind you. Let's take two slow rhythmic breaths here. Inhale, uplifting the pubic bone and the heart space. Stay for the exhale and take one more breath. Slowly lift the head first and gently lower down to the sits bones, cross the shins and roll over to traditional tabletop, hands and knees. Shoulders stack over the wrists, hips over the kneecaps. On the inhale, micro bend the elbows, drop the belly, press the heart through the gate of the arms, cow pose. Exhale, engage the abdominals, root into the palms as you lift the back of the heart. Inhale, sway the spine forward. Shine that beautiful bright green light from the center of your heart forward. Exhale, pull the low belly in and up, shining that light back at yourself as you round the spine. Let's take three more at the pace of your breath cycles, bringing some circulation to the spine. One more round. And then return to a neutral spine looking between the thumbs. Keep the hips right over the kneecaps and begin to walk the hands towards the top of the mat. Spin the triceps under the upper arms and think of isolating the space between the shoulder blades as you descend down heart melting to the mat. So for most of us, the forehead will rest on the earth. If you have the mobility in the neck today, you might bring the chin down onto the mat and gaze between the thumbs. Feel the breath moving into the back of the lungs, expanding the back of the rib cage. And with the exhale, melt the heart a little bit closer to the earth. One more smooth breath. Then gently press into the palms, lift the heart as you slither forward onto your belly. Extend the legs long behind you and slide the hands back so they're in line with the middle of the rib cage. Rest the forehead on the mat to begin. Engage the quadriceps, lift the kneecaps. On the inhale, peel the chest and head up, Bhujangasana, baby cobra. And today, hover the right leg so we're strengthening the lower right side of the back. Stretch back through the toes and at the same time, reach the heart space forward. Take one more inhale. 
Exhale, lower chest, forehead, and right leg down. Inhale, lift chest, head, and left leg up. From the hip to the toes, stretch back. From the pelvis to the crown, extend forward. One more inhale, lifting the heart. Exhale, lower everything down. Let's do that again, movement to breath. Inhale, lift heart, head, and right leg. Exhale, lower everything to the mat. Inhale, lift heart, head, and left leg. Keep rolling the shoulders away from the chest, hug the elbows in. Exhale, soften down. Now bring the fingertips just outside of your yoga mat and make little tents with your hands. So you're grounding through the finger pads and there's a slight internal rotation so the elbow, elbows are right over the wrists. Quads are still firm. Anchor down through the pubic bone. This time as you rise, you can press into the finger pads as you peel the spine up a little bit higher. Take an inhale in this super cobra pose and softly move the gaze towards the right elbow, getting a little stretch in the neck. Exhale, look forward, lower chest and third eye to the mat. Inhale, slowly rise, super cobra, elbows wide, gaze left. Exhale, look forward, lower chest and third eye to the mat. One more round, inhale, peel up, looking towards the right elbow. Exhale, look forward, soften down. Last round, inhale, peel up, squeeze the shoulder blades, look left. Exhale, gaze forward, lower down. Slide the hands back next to the ribs. Inhale, press up, tabletop. Exhale, curl the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Hands separate shoulder distance apart. Feet are hips width distance apart. And just find some organic movements here in this first down dog, bending into one knee at a time, swaying the head a little right to left. Just creating any free flowing organic movements as you warm up the spine and the backs of the legs. Settle into stillness when you feel ready. And in this first down dog, please welcome a soft bend to the knees. Focus more on elongation through the spine. Ear lobes are drawing towards the thumbs. Shoulder blades slide onto the back of the ribs. And create some space between the floating ribs and the top of the pelvis. So think of kind of puffing up the space where the adrenals and the kidneys are. And reconnect to your ujjayi breath. Let's take two more, in and out through the nose. Next inhale, lift the heels high, gaze forward. On the exhale, bend the knees, walk the feet to the top of the mat, and bring them hips width distance when you get there. Inhale, slide the hands up to the shins or the thighs as you create a flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bend the knees, fold the belly to the thighs, let the torso hang heavy. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, hands to shins or thighs, Squeeze the shoulder blades together, reach through the crown. Exhale, bend the knees, fold over the legs. Keeping a nice bend to the knees, begin to roll up through the spine. Head and arms hang heavy. Take your time, standing all the way upright. Once you do, roll the shoulder heads up, slide the shoulder blades down the back, rotate the palms forward. Inhale, stretch both arms high overhead, unite the palms above you. On the exhale, gather the hands in front of the heart space and just take a moment to close the eyes. And may you honor your heart in this moment, your inner teacher, with great respect and love. 
Let's get worn through some sun salutation A's. We'll add a little lateral bend at the beginning. Inhale, circle the arms high overhead. On the exhale, bend the elbows, grabbing opposite elbow, and take it up and over to the right in a lateral bend. Knit the front ribs in and the low belly is firm. Inhale, restack the spinal column. Exhale, lateral bend to the left as you bend the hips to the right. Inhale, rise up through center. Exhale, release the bind, hinge at the hips, swan dive forward, leading with the heart. Inhale, halfway lift, Arda. Exhale, lower palm, step the feet all the way back, plank pose or top of a push up. Hold for an inhale. You can always set the knees down if you need to modify. On the exhale, lower halfway chaturanga. Bend the elbows about 90 degrees. Point the toes, straighten the arms. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Heart presses forward. And on the in exhale, rather, roll the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Let's take three breaths here. Inhale, lift the heels high, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees. You can walk, step, or maybe hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, create a flat back, heart forward. Exhale, bend the knees and fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, stand tall, or go Hastasana, arm stretch high overhead. Look up, unite the palms, and on the exhale, hands to the heart center. Let's take two more rounds. Inhale, circle the arms high. Bend the elbows, grabbing opposite elbow. Exhale, lateral bend to the right, bending hips to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach up and over to the left, keeping those front ribs knitting in. Inhale, re-extend the spine. Release the bind. Exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms lower down, step back. Same exhale, lower halfway down. Again, you can always lower the knees if you need. Point the toes, sway the spine forward. Inhale for up dog. Exhale, press the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Three smooth rhythmic breaths. Last round, lift the heels high, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale as you bend the knees and ascend to the top of the mat your way. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Root down, rise up, inhale, stretch the arms high overhead, connect palms above you, and exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, raise the arms overhead. Exhale, bend elbows, lateral bend to the right. Inhale, shoulders over hips. Exhale, lateral bend to the left. Inhale, restock the spine. Exhale, release the bind and fold forward. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, plant palms, step back, plank pose. Quadriceps are engaged, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, up dog. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing. Three more breaths. Please walk the feet a little bit closer together so they're almost touching. On the inhale, raise the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the right knee laterally, open the hip up. 
Notice if that right shoulder head is lifting higher than the left. Try to level the shoulders, square the chest towards the mat, and just create the opening in the right hip socket. Take a slow breath in through the nose. On the exhale, stack the shoulders over the wrist, pull the knee in towards the nose, drop the chin towards the chest, and squeeze the low belly in and up. Inhale, three-legged down dog, reach back and up through the heel bone. Exhale, look forward, step the foot all the way through between the hands. Lower the left knee down and untuck the back toes. So we're going to start in a deeper low lunge getting into the hip. So walk that foot a little bit further forward than you normally do. Sink the hips down and lower the right fingertips just outside of the right toes. Inhale, raise the left arm up. And as you exhale, left arm comes slightly overhead, finding a lateral bend in the spine. Feel the deep stretch to the front of the left quad, getting into the hip flexors. And you might even feel the sensation moving up to the lower abdominals. Create a slight rotation through the left rib cage, opening up that left shoulder and lifting the chin slightly away from the chest. Take one more deep breath. And slowly come out of the lateral bend, lower left fingertips down. Slide that foot back in now so the knee is right over the ankle. Root down through the right heel bone, rise all the way up on Janayasana, low lunge. Good. Release the arms beside your body, interlace the fingers behind you. Keep the inner thighs strong and active, squeeze them together. Inhale, lift the side ribs away from the hips, heart space presses upward. And on the exhale, allow the knuckles to slide down towards the back of the left thigh. Squeeze the tips of the shoulder blades together using the rhomboid muscles. Consciously send the breath into your heart center. One more smooth breath in. On the exhale, release the bind, lower the palms down, frame the foot. Curl the back toes, straighten the left leg. Inhale, step back, plank pose. Yogi's choice. For more support, you can set the knees down. Otherwise, legs stay straight. On the exhale, slowly we lower all the way down to the belly. Squeeze the elbows in towards the rib cage. Once you make it all the way down, point the toes. Rest the forehead on the mat and open the arms wide into a goal post. So the elbows are in line with the shoulders. Quadriceps engage, feel the kneecaps hovering off the mat. Anchor down through the pubic bone. Inhale, lift chest, head, and arms. So the gaze is down just beneath the eyeballs. Strengthening the back and the musculature around the spine. Feel the lats, those big muscles that wean across the back. They're spreading and widening and wrapping around the side of the ribs. Maybe raise the heart a little higher and then stretch the arms back behind you towards the toes. Turn the palms in towards one another like you're holding an imaginary block between the hands. Stretch past the fingertips, crown of the head elongates forward. Last two breaths. Then slowly slide the hands just outside of the ribs, lower chest and head to the mat. Inhale, press up tabletop. Exhale, curl the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. Nice dog yogis, take a smooth breath in and a slower breath out the nose. Walk the feet a little bit closer together once more. Inhale, sweep the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. 
Exhale, bend the left knee laterally, open the hip up as you scorpion your tail. Again, check in with the left shoulder. Notice if it's elevating higher than the right. Try to lower that shoulder down a little bit and isolate the left hip. Welcome with breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, stack the shoulders over the wrist, round the back like cat pose, knee to nose, chin to chest, low belly scoops up and in. Inhale, send the hips and left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, look forward, step the foot all the way through, low lunge. Right knee sets down to the mat, back toes curl under, or sorry, rather untuck. And again, walk that left foot forward so you can really sink the hips down. Left fingertips will lower just outside of the left foot. Inhale, raise the right arm up. And on the exhale, take the arm overhead to the left. Again, we're getting a little opening and rotation through the upper spine. So think of turning the right ribs up towards the heavens, feeling the stretch into the armpit and the outer right arm. Breathing prana, your life force energy, into the heart space. Expanding and softening this area. Slowly bring the spine back to neutral, lower right fingertips. Lift the hips, slide the left foot back so the ankle is right under the left kneecap. Drive through the left heel, rise up. Inhale, Anjana Asana, arms reach. On the exhale, lower the arms down beside you. Interlace the hands the non-dominant way behind the low back. On the inhale, squeeze the tips of the shoulder blades together. Send the heart space higher. Exhale, knuckles drop down towards the right knee. Actively squeeze the shoulder blades together. Usher the heart forward. Last two breaths. Slowly release the bind, lower the palms down to the mat. Curl the back toes, straighten the right leg. Inhale, step back, plank pose. Your choice to keep the legs straight or set knees down. On the exhale, we slowly lower for five, four, three, two, all the way to the belly on one. Nice job. This variation, please stack the palms right underneath the forehead. We'll start with the right hand on top of the left and glue the forehead to the back of the right hand. So the elbows are out wide, feet are hips width distance. Keeping this connection of forehead to right hand, we're going to strengthen the sides of the back independently of one another. So on the inhale, lift chest, head, right arm, and left leg. Again, you're looking down at the left thumb. From the left hip to the toes, stretch back and from the pelvis to the crown, reach forward. Think about creating length in the body rather than height. One more breath in. Exhale, lower down. This time switch so the left hand is on top of the right. Keep the forehead and left hand connected. Inhale, lift chest, left arm and right leg. Feel anchored through the pubic bone. Tailbone stretches back towards the toes. That left elbow is opening and widening. One more breath in, lifting the heart a little bit higher. Exhale, lower down. Slide the hands back next to the rib cage. Inhale, press up tabletop. Exhale, curl the toes, downward facing dog as you send the hips high. Take a deep breath in through the nose. 
and a longer breath out the nose. Inhale, lift the heels high, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees, travel to the top of the mat, step, hop, or float. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Now bend the knees a lot for chair pose, Utkatasana, sinking back into your imaginary chair. So the weight will shift back to the heels. Shin bones press back so you can see the toes beneath the kneecaps. For today, let's hook the thumbs overhead and pull the hands apart from one another. The collarbones are spreading, heart space lifting. Take a breath in. Sink the pelvis back further on the exhale. Nice, deep breath in. Sink the tailbone a little further back on the breath out. One more round, inhale. Exhale, fold belly to thighs, lower fingertips to mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant palms, yogi's choice. You can move through a vinyasa flow, high to low plank, or you can always skip these and we'll meet in downward dog. You're taking the flow, inhale to find the back bend. Exhale, returning to down dog. Inhale, right leg high to the sky, three-legged. Exhale, step the right foot closer to the right thumb for warrior one. Spin the back heel down. Inhale, rise all the way up, finding some depth into the front knee. On the exhale, open up towards the long side of the mat, warrior two. You might go a little bit longer with the stance of the feet. Open the arms along the horizon. Take a peek forward at the right toes. Make sure the big and second toe are visible. If not, create a little more external rotation in that right thigh, meaning you're opening the knee towards the third and fourth toes. Flip the right palm, inhale, reverse warrior. Today, let's take a little variation. On the exhale, bend the right elbow, hand behind neck and then bend the left elbow as well, so you're bringing the left forearm behind the back. Fingertips do not have to connect. We're just getting a little more opening through the side body. Keep arcing up and back, take a full breath in. On the exhale, windmill the hands down to the mat. Again, yogi's choice as you step back, return to down dog or move through another vinyasa. Inhale, heart forward for up dog. Exhale, hips back, down dog. Second side, inhale, left leg high to the sky. Exhale, step it all the way through. Spin the back heel down, prepping for warrior one. Once you have your foundation, rise up, inhale. Exhale, open up warrior two, arms stretch wide. Find the depth into the front knee. Flip the left palm, inhale, reverse. On the exhale, bend both elbows, bringing the hands behind the back. Inhale, lift the left elbow high towards the heavens. Exhale, windmill hands down to the mat. Step it back into down dog or vinyasa, high to low. Inhale for up dog. Exhale, hips go back, downward facing. Nice work, yogis. Take three breaths. Slow down the heart rate. Inhale, heels go high, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, Arda, flatten the back. And exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees once more, chair pose, Utkatasana. From here, we'll move into Garudasana, eagle pose. Left arm will wrap underneath right arm. If the shoulders are really tight, you can take a single bind where the hands rest atop the shoulder heads. Otherwise, ravel the forearms, 
Shift the weight into the right foot. Pick the left thigh up and cross it over. Maybe the left toes are in midair. Maybe you're setting them down on the earth, using them like a kickstand. Or perhaps if it's accessible, you're wrapping the toes around the right calf. Drop the tailbone further behind you. Lift the elbows about shoulder height. And feel the opening in the back of the heart space. Recognize the beauty and the love that is within you and all around you. And remember why you're here. We cannot be of service to others with a closed heart. And we cannot be a light in this world if we allow our strength to slump. So we must first have a strong back to maintain a soft front. Arms stay bound, unwind the left leg, lift the knee up hip height for the inhale. On the exhale, with as much grace as possible, land in your warrior one stance. Sink into the right knee. Inhale, lift elbows and fingertips up, taking a slight back bend. On the exhale, hinge at the hips, variation of humble warrior. So the torso and the right shoulder come inside of the right leg. Bow the head, and the arms are actively reaching forward. Hug the outer right hip into the midline of the body. Last two breaths. Nice job, yogis. Press into the feet. Slowly rise all the way up. Unravel the arms. Inhale, stretch them high. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Left toes turn in at a slight angle towards the front left corner of the mat. Sink into the right knee. On the inhale, reach the spine forward over the right thigh. Exhale, lower the elbow down to the thigh. Raise the left arm up. Internally rotate the left arm so you're turning the palm back. Give a little bend to that left elbow as you wrap it behind the back into a half bind. So those left fingertips will start to inch closer towards the right hip crease. Spiral the left ribs and shoulder open. Gaze is moving up. Actively press into the pinky edge of your left foot and feel the rebound energy from the sole of the foot moving through the left leg, the spine, and out the crown. Keeping the left forearm behind the low back, legs stay as they are. Inhale, reverse, right arm reaches up and overhead. And on the exhale, windmill, left hand down to the mat, right arm goes high, Unplug the left heel in your low lunge twist. Root into the left palm. Spread the right fingertips. Take a breath in. On the exhale, roll to the pinky edge of both feet and start to toe heel the right foot back until the ankle is underneath the kneecap. Lift the left hip and left ribs. You can stay right here or step the right foot behind the left leg for wild thing. Lift the pubic bone and heart space up. Option to reach the right arm overhead, or you can lower right hand to left heart. Notice the heart beating. Feel the energy of love within. We have one more breath wherever you are. If the hand is on the heart, re-extend the arm. Slowly make your way back to plank pose for the inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Heart forward, breath in. Hips go back on the breath out. Beautiful effort, you guys. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, let out a cleansing exhale. One more breath, inhale through the nose. 
audible exhale. Let's do the second side. Inhale, tippy toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees as you travel, top of the mat. Inhale, flatten the back. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, sinking back into chair pose. Lift the spine and arms. Right arm ravels underneath left arm this time. Single bind or double, whichever is accessible today. Shift the weight into your left foot. Pick up the right thigh as high as you can get it. Cross it over the left. Feel the raveling of the limbs. Squeeze them together. Lean the chest back a little bit. Raise the elbows about shoulder height. A big part of practicing self-love and self-care is knowing when to say no and setting boundaries in your relationships. May you be open to giving love, compassion, and kindness to others, but not at the expense of your own well-being. Be sure to honor your body, mind, and heart first and foremost. May we recognize that we can be empathetic towards others, and we can also be a little bit selfish with our own needs. Keep the arms bound, unwind the right leg, lift the knee up, hip height, inhale. Carefully step it back, warrior one, exhale. Sink into the left knee. Inhale, baby back bend, lift the elbows and fingertips to the sky. Exhale, core as strong as you hinge and fold, bringing the spine inside of the left leg. Bow the head, releasing tension in the neck. One more deep breath. Press evenly through the feet to rise up on the inhale. Unravel the arms, exhale, raise them up. Take another breath in. And on the exhale, warrior two. Feel the stretch through the inner arms, reaching from fingertip to fingertip. Tip the pelvis over the left thigh on the inhale. Extended side angle, exhale, elbow lowers to thigh, right arm stretches up. Internally rotate the right arm, turning the palm back, and then you're taking that half bind, bringing the forearm behind the low back. Right fingertips will come closer towards the left hip crease. Once you have the half bind, roll the chest open, peel the right shoulder head back. Keep the legs strong and stable. Half bind remains. Inhale, reverse. Left arm goes high, up and overhead. On the exhale, windmill, right hand down to the mat. Hand aligns with the foot. Left arm stretches up. Unplug the right heel so you're in your low lunge twist. Take a breath in. On the exhale, roll to the pinky edge of both feet and toe heel the left foot back until the ankle is under the kneecap. With a strong right arm, root into the palm, lift the right hip and ribs. Remain here or step the left foot behind the right leg. Try and stay on the ball of the left foot. Send the pubic bone and heart up as you stretch the arm overhead or lower the hand to the heart. And consciously breathe into your heart center. Maybe seeing that green ball of energy. Come back to the importance of love. Last two breaths. Re-extend the left arm if it was bent. Lower the palm all the way down, come back to plank pose. Hold for an inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, heart forward for up dog. Exhale, hips back, downward facing. 
Deep breath in. Take a cleansing breath out the mouth, releasing some heat. One more breath in through the nose. And let it go out the mouth. All right, yogis, we have one more standing back bend. Prepare as you lift the heels, gaze up, bend the knees, make your way forward. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Inhale, stand tall, mountain pose, raise the arms, unite the palms. Exhale, hands to the heart center. All right, now turn Jasmine of the dancer pose. If you'd like to use a wall for support, you're welcome to relocate yourself. Otherwise, stay where you are. Bend the right elbow out beside you like you're holding a tray of drinks with the palm turned open. Raise the left arm up, palm turns forward. Shift the weight into your left foot as you bend the right knee without changing the grip. Grab a hold of the inner arch of the right foot. Realign the knees and inner thighs. Inhale, stretch the side ribs away from the hips. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Begin to tip forward as you kick the foot and shin bone back behind you. Find an equal sensation of kicking and reaching. Last two breaths. Very slowly kick to release, stand tall. Return right foot to the mat, lower both arms. Close the eyes. Find stillness, silence, and space within. Take a deep breath in. Let everything go, exhale. Second side, open the eyes. Bend left elbow by the waist, palm open. Right arm high. Weight shifts into the right foot as you bend the left knee. Again, without changing the grip of the hand, grab a hold of the inner arch. With the purpose for not changing the grip is to keep external rotation of the left arm, so we're opening across the chest. Inhale, feel the energy moving up to the sternum and the crown. Exhale, hinge at the hips, kick the foot back into the hand. Reach through the right arm. The deeper you, you kick the foot back, the more twist you get in the upper back. So that left shoulder starts to peel behind you. Last three breaths. Very slowly begin to release. Standing upright, left foot lowers, arms release. Close the eyes, Samastiti, equal standing pose. Bring the awareness back to your heart, not just the front, but the back and the sides as well. Expand the rib cage, inhale. Feel the ribs moving down and in on the exhale. Eyes open, inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Toe heel the feet together to touch. And on the exhale, bend the knees, lift the heels, ball pose. Crouch and curl into a small ball. So the fingertips will come slightly forward in front of you. Press into the finger pads, round the back. Tightly tuck the chin in towards the throat and bring the forehead closer to the knees. Take an expansive breath into the back of the heart. On the exhale, round yourself in a little bit tighter. But then lift the gaze, plant the palms, lower shins to the mat, and separate the knees, hips width distance. Rise all the way up into a kneeling gesture. Ustrasana camel pose. Hands come to the low back for support. We'll take two rounds, and this first round, you have the option to curl the toes underneath you to lift the heels and have them be a little bit more accessible once we're in the back bend. 
seconds. Hug the elbows into the midline. Press the palms towards the glutes. Lift the sternum and the heart. On the exhale, glide the hips forward and gently allow the head to drape back behind you. Now you're welcome to stay right here, or you might lower right hand to right heel and left hand to left heel. Bring one hand to the side of the back at a time. Slowly make your way up into a neutral position. Ground through the tops of the feet and sit the hips back on them. Please turn the palms open on the thighs and close the eyes. May we come back to the importance of love and recognize it as the unifying force that it is. Self-love brings us into wholeness with ourselves. And unconditional love also unites us to others, to our brothers and sisters, and to that greater source of love and truth that some call universal consciousness, some call source, others call God. Whatever resonates, recognize your connection to this powerful source within and all around. One more round of camel pose. Soften the eyes open, rise up to the shins. For the second round, you can open the knees a little bit wider than the hips. Feet will still be a little closer together. Hands come to the low back for support. Squeeze the elbows in. Inhale, lift sternum and gaze. Exhale, glutes engage, press the hips forward, slowly drop the head back. Again, you can always stay right here with hands to the low back or lower one hand to one heel at a time. Slowly return hands to low back. Re-stack the vertebra. Connect the big toes. Sit back to the heels. Just pausing for a moment in a neutral position. Again, turning the palms open. Close the eyes. Notice the rebound energy after a big heart opener, such as camel. We will counter those deep back bends with a forward fold and rabbit pose. So as you open the eyes, connect the knees and the toes. So you're in this hero's pose. And then wrap the arms behind you so the hands come towards the heels. This is a very compressive shape, so we're rounding the spine. Start by lowering the chin down towards the chest. Squeeze the abdominals in. And very slowly take your time as you round over the thighs. And we're looking for the crown of the head to connect to the mat. So it's important that you compress the thyroid gland, squeeze the chin in, and the forehead should be close to the knees. If it's not, please remain here. If the forehead is close to the knees and the crown of the head is on the mat, you might begin to pull on the heels and lift the hips away from them and aim out. About 95% of the body weight should be in the shins, only 5% in the head. Slowly begin to lower buttocks towards heels if it was lifted. And just as slowly as you entered the pose, slowly roll up out of it. Chin will be the last to lift. Nice. Once you're upright, bring the hips off to one side. Feet come forward in front of you. Plant the feet to the top of the mat. Extend the arms. Take a breath in. Exhale, pull the low belly in and slowly recline onto the back.
Once you're all the way down, walk the heels in closer towards the buttocks. Feet separate, hips width distance. We'll move through a little dynamic sequence here. On the inhale, extend the legs straight up and reach the arms overhead. So the heels press to the sky, fingertips reach back. On the exhale, bend the knees, plant the feet and lower the arms simultaneously. Then lift the hips up into bridge. Press the triceps down, heart space lifts up. Inhale, just reach the arms overhead, pressing down through the shoulder blades. On the exhale, slowly lower spine, arms and hips simultaneously with the exhalation. Returning to our starting position, we'll do that twice more. Inhale, legs extend straight up, arms reach overhead. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the feet, and lower the arms back down. Once they're down, lift the hips up. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, lower spine, arms, and hips. Nice job, one more round. Inhale, heels to sky, arms overhead. Exhale, feet and arms lower, hips lift up. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, lower everything down. Once the sacrum is grounded, draw the right knee in towards the right armpit, extend the left leg forward. Avoid the right ribs as you open the knee out laterally, that's hip abduction, and squeeze the knee in towards the right armpit, making sure both shoulder blades are grounded against your mat. And slide the left hand to the outer right knee as you cross it over the midline in a supine twist. Right arm can open wide, or you might even reach that right arm slightly overhead. Slide the right hip crease towards the top of the mat, finding a little bit more space in the right waist. Firm the low belly in as you unwind. Ground the pelvis and plant both feet on the mat once more. Second side as you draw the left knee in, extend the right leg forward. Interlace the hands one to two inches beneath the kneecap. Open the left hip out to the side, then hug it in tightly. We're stimulating the digestive system, the metabolism, Cross out through the right heel, slightly tuck the chin. Then the right hand comes to the outer left knee, assist the leg over to the right as you open the left arm wide. Move the breath into the left side body left ribs and left abdominal cavity. Firm the navel in as you slowly release the twist. Hug both knees into the chest for one final loving embrace. Grab a hold of opposite wrist, forearm, or elbow, whatever is accessible. 
root down the tailbone, root down through the skull. Take a steady breath in through the nose, press the belly against the thighs. And on the exhale, squeeze the knees in a little bit more tightly towards the heart. Gently release and open the body up for your final resting pose. If you have a wall nearby, I invite you to take the legs up the wall, just as an option for you. To get into it, you'll sit hip to hip with the wall and lift the legs up and then just kind of pivot so that the legs go straight up. Otherwise, just come into traditional Shavasana corpse pose with the legs and arms open out beside you. Eyeballs become heavy in their sockets. Soften the wrinkles in the forehead and around the eyes. And please turn the palms open. Creating a mudra or a gesture of receptivity. May you be open to receiving love, truth, clarity, and wisdom. Receiving this offering and gift from the universe. Feel the sensation within the palms. Now connect to the breath and the concept of the breath as being life-giving. Life-giving to you, life-giving to others, life-giving for the universe. On the inhale, receive the prana through the palms, move it up the arms, filling up your heart space. Exhale, send your prana from the heart, down the arms, out the palms, and back into the universe. Inhale, receiving light and love through the palms, up the arms, all the way to your heart. Exhale, send your love and light from the heart, through the arms, out the palms, back into the universe. Please allow your next inhalation to be a little bit deeper and fuller. Part the lips as you exhale out the mouth. Brush the thumbs across each fingertip and wiggle the toes as you reawaken your physical body. Gently hug the knees into the chest and roll to one side in fetal pose, using your bicep as a pillow for your head. I leave you with a short poem of loving affirmation. 
It's called One Love. Come into the light, hold each other's hearts. Keep a tranquil mind, full of hope and serenity. Believe anything is possible. Imagine yourself where you want to be. It will become reality. Limitless imagination will change the world. Set your intention and accomplish. Believe it and you will live it. Come together, unite one love. The universe is infinite unity. Universal is love. Be love, feel love within your entire being. Let it radiate out into the world. Touch everyone you meet with your light and love. Keeping the eyes closed, please press yourself up into Sukhasana easy seat. Please press the palms together at heart center. And may we once more bow our heads towards our hearts as we honor our hearts, our inner teacher, with great respect and love. On the inhale, lift the thumbs to your third eye, tilt the head back as we honor the divine light that dwells within each of us. Let's take in one more deep breath of love, gratitude, and acceptance. And on the exhale, bow forward, sealing in this practice together. Namaste. Thank you for joining me, yogis. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so that you see my new videos when they come out. Have a beautiful rest of your day and take care of you.